All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to flash your transformer pad TF701T back to 100% stock. You're going to need to open up the browser on your tablet. You can use whatever, but I prefer to use Chrome. All right, so I'm going to put a link to this in the description of the video you're watching. Basically, it's just a zip that's going to help you get back to 4.3. And it says, then I downloaded the 4.3 OTA update. So you'll click on that link right there. And it'll take you to droidbasement.com. Uh, and you can read the top there, db-blog-p equals 3210. So you'll go down here and then you'll find one that says jb-43 OTA full. And you'll just basically click on that, if I can do it. And you'll download the zip. All right, so the download is going to take a little while depending on your internet connection, so don't stress out. Just let it download and eventually it will be done. I probably should have used a download manager, like ES File Explorer has a download manager that's pretty good, but um, this one seems to be going at a decent speed. And so whenever it's done downloading, you'll need to move it over to your external SD card uh, that's just what I recommend flashing to. If you don't have one, borrow one from your phone or get, Amazon usually has 32 gigs for like 20 bucks. So I'll put a link to those in the description. See, now I have ES File uh, Explorer, which is free from the Google Play Store. And if I press on that, I can just you know start downloading it and it's a it's a pretty good download manager it tells you how much time is left it tells you the speed that it's going at it's it's a really good download manager all right so the download is complete we're going to open up a file browser you can use the stock one that came with your transformer pad that's completely fine you're going to head over to your download folder and in your download folder will be this file called jb43 you'll just press on that and then you'll hit the little cut icon, and then you'll go up here to your, uh, ex if I could find it, micro SD card, and then you just hit this little paste icon, and it'll paste that file to your micro SD card. That way, when you're flashing the ROM, you're flashing it from external storage, not internal storage. All right, so now the file is on our external storage, not our internal storage. Let's get ready to flash this in recovery. All right, so at this time, we need to take our Transformer Prime, we need to power it down, and we need to get into recovery. We'll start by holding the power button down and choosing power off and then hitting OK. And then we're going to hold the volume down and the power buttons at the same time. And you're going to keep holding until you see it, say, this screen right here. And then you're simply just going to press volume up to get into recovery. If all goes well, custom recovery should start up. I'm going to recommend going down to wipe factory reset and then go to install zip from SD card. So we're just going to press volume down, go to wipe factory reset. Yes, wipe all user data. And then we're going to go down to install zip. We're going to choose from SD card one. We put it on our external storage. So then we're gonna go down here until we get to the JB4.3 OTA full, and we're gonna press the power button, and we're gonna choose volume down, and then we're gonna go press power button again, and then it's going to install the, and then it's going to install the stock ROM, and you're gonna have 100% stock recovery, you're gonna have 100% stock everything. This does take a moment, so please be patient, and whenever it's done, you'll reboot the system. The benefit to this is that if you were on Cyanjamon 11, if you were on any custom ROM, or if your transform pad was no longer booting up at all, now you have a working tablet again. You can root it again really easily by either putting recovery on the device and flashing Super SU, or there's another root method that I'm going to do a video on really soon that's fairly simple, and it's the root method I recommend, so that way you can root it. Uh, you download like Root Explorer or ES File Explorer, mount your system as read and write, and then delete the install recovery from boot and from system and or etc, and then go to etc and install and delete the other file that r installs recovery. And with the easier root method, you can delete those two files really quick. 
you can install custom recovery using recovery tools from the Google Play Store and you're done. All right, so it's done installing the stock ROM from the SD card, so we're gonna need to reboot the system. Go to go back, press the power button, choose reboot system now, press the power button, and at the time you're not rooted, you're 100% stock. You do not have custom recovery, you do not have root, you're 100% stock. So we're gonna go ahead and hit no because we want to stay stock and it says root access is missing, no. All right, so the screen just went dim. We know that we're making progress and it's gonna start up here very quickly. Now you're at the welcome screen. You need to go through all the screens. You need to sign into your Google account or if you're going to be selling the tablet for some reason, you'll just leave it at this screen right here, turn it off, let the person that's buying it go through the screens himself. All right, now we're back to the home screen. Our transformer pad is 100% stock. We can reroute it if we're gonna root it. Like for example, if you were on a custom ROM and that custom ROM wasn't working out for you, now you can be you can be back to stock, you can easily root it. For warranty purposes, this isn't gonna do you any good because it's gonna permanently say the device has been unlocked whenever you turn the device off and turn it back on. More than likely for you, it'll say that there is an update available. Go ahead and just press on it. And because now you have stock recovery, you can apply updates. And you know, anytime there's an update on the screen, you can just accept it and update and then root it once the update's over with. Here you can clearly tell that we are on Android 4.3. If we go to the build number, it is 1026118. And then the date. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out more than you probably know. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those are the two main social medias that I use the most. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I've got more videos on the transform pad, uh, newer tablets, newer phones, uh, the Pebble, uh, 4K camera. I've got tons of stuff coming this year. So if you're not subscribed already, please do so right now. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out. Jenna Marbles absolutely broke my Twitter. Tweet Tech would not stop going off. It was pretty freaking awesome.